Remember Napster? Remember the almost widespread adoption for torrenting? It kind of seems like a thing of the past with modern streaming services and our newfound love for <clears throat> vinyls. We've seen what can happen when the music industry feels threatened. The RIAA starts suing everybody, Metallica starts suing everybody, you know how it goes. But disregarding piracy, the amount of copyright claims and legal cases regarding plagiarism is huge and often involve multi-million dollar cases. With all of these plagiarism lawsuits, you have these forensic musicologists who are hired as experts witnesses selectively highlighting compositional elements between different songs to try and prove ownership of certain musical ideas. That is a dangerous thing to do. Please, if you're ever hired as a forensic musicologist, never tell any of the lawyers about 12 Bar Blues. Then that would be a, that would be a, hell, of a hell of a road to go down. AI becomes a graphic designer? Whatever. We can use it as a tool for inspiration or a starting point. AI becomes a writer? Whatever. We can use it to combat writer's block. It can help write lyrics or even do our homework. AI becomes a musician? Oh no! The profits are in danger. Can you imagine what's going to happen as soon as it gets good? Well, I have bad news. This is coming sooner than you think. A paper called Music LM, generating music from text, has just been released and it includes some very interesting demos that are starting to sound much more decent than previous efforts. I have listened to quite a lot of ML-generated music in the past and this is by far the best I've heard. I should note that there is an important distinction to make here. Some MLs have generated music notation or MIDI files in the past which have been trained on notation or MIDI files from many authors and can now produce their own works. These are decent, but it still involves using your own virtual instruments and arranging the tracks to sound better. But the algorithms we are talking about here are trained in audio and language that represents features in that audio, and the output is new audio. Think of it as Dal E for music. And it is getting scarily good in some genres. The full paper is available for reading in ArcSiv. You can find the link in the description. But more interestingly, they published full demos and a labeled dataset, which will enable people to train their own models. This is definitely going to happen sooner than later, so keep your eyes peeled for when this drops. Let's listen to some of the demos on the website. So for example, you've got a fusion of reggaeton and electronic dance music with a spacey, otherworldly sound. This? This does not sound robotic. This sounds proper. This sounds... trancy. This sounds... Interesting. Synths in the background. Even lyrics. Vocals. Oh my god, it sounds otherworldly almost. What about this one? A rising synth is playing an arpeggio with a lot of reverb. It is backed by pads, sub bass line, and soft drums. I can imagine how this sounds without clicking. Let's see if it reaches those expectations. It was a bit of a bend there, which was kind of weird, but wow. Also, the chord progressions are super interesting, and they've got multiple pages of these. They also generate these longer things, and look at this one, Melodic Techno. I just listened to this one already, and I was very surprised. I can almost just imagine this playing on the background of one of my videos easily. has some of those features that are present in techno and in uh, dance slash trance. Changes over time, slowly being introduced. I think it has a few aspects of glitch kind of as well integrated in here. Beautiful. Now where I don't think it does that well is like in things like Swing, for example. It's too chaotic. It almost sounds like acid jazz-y or something. I don't think it sounds that swingy. It doesn't have some of the vibe, some of the humanity in it, but relaxing jazz. That's much more interesting and it captures some of the textures, the vibe, the expression, the dynamics. 
much better than in the previous example. So I think, I'd argue, it has improved incredibly versus previous attempts that I've seen at generating music automatically. And if there's any indication that the new era of music-related copyright issues is coming, just have a look at the top comments on Hacker News. I'm not even done editing this video and I just catch a glimpse of this tweet and I'm like, wow, I mean, come on, this is too fast for these updates. This is sing song and basically it adds backing for your vocals. So you might start off with something like this, for example. And then you isolate the vocals, right? So you just want the vocal track by itself. And you feed that into this sing song algorithm and it will try to fill in the background basically. So something like this. When I'm gone away, no one will worry. Or maybe something like this. When I'm gone away. So it can basically experiment with different genres, with different styles that try to adapt. And it, I think it has a bit of an issue with the syncopation, especially when you're starting off beat. But I'm guessing that's something that's going to be fixed in the near future, especially if you give it the whole thing. It's probably going to be able to guess better where something starts and ends. Still, I think this is absolutely amazing, especially if you're looking for a tool that can give you ideas on how to create the backing for a certain part or basically experiment with different ways of expressing something, right? Absolutely phenomenal that this came out just literally days after the previous one. I really can't imagine what it's going to be like in a couple of months from now, but I think if this advances at the pace that we've seen with some of the other AI tools, it is going to be mind-blowing. Anyway, I hope you have an absolutely epic rest of your day and I'll catch you next time.